Hello beauties, my name is Eva and outside is raining. I love rain so much, somehow it just makes me feel alive. But anyway, today I want to test one of cutie palettes, so one of these, nude one and coral one. I think I will test coral one today and nude one in the next video. And this will be my first impression, review, and of course I'm going to show you some close-up and swatches, as always. So today Coral one, Nabla Cutie Palette Coral. As you can tell, I've already swatched it. And I must say, oh my god, I love Nabla formula. <laughs> Mats are awesome in touch and ah! Let's go to swatches, you'll see. So in the first row we have I got you or I got you, Flamingo with duochrome, magenta and coral reflects, metal foil formula, red shape, fire red with copper reflects, satin, anyway, espresso super matte. And in the second row we have mandarin, that's mandarin, celestial shade, feelings, fluo coral pink, super matte, and coral amber, coral amber with bronze reflects. That's fluid metal. These palettes are really small and cute. This is Poison Garden and here is Cutie Palette. Here's Secret Palette. Hm. Half of the palette. And it's also smaller than 12 pounds palettes. By the way, this palette is in my previous video. Go check it out. I want to use all six shades. I mean, what big deal? It's easy to use six shades. But what to do? Maybe we can do cut crease. Hmm? Why not? Let's go with cut crease. There's no matte base shade in this palette, but that's okay. Not everyone used matte base shade, so what's the problem to just buy, you know, single one and <laughs> single matte base shade? I'm going to use right now under my brow. And I'm going to start with red shape. It's satin, but look at this, so gorgeous red. And I'm going to apply it into my crease and a little bit above it because I'm going to cut my crease anyway. Pigmentation is insane, okay? Yes, this pigmentation is insane. Like, really? Wow! But it's very nice red. Okay, I'll do it like this, why not? So, in my crease, a little above my crease and outer corner of my lower eyelid. Yes, it's time for feelings. Let's blend this red. I'm going back to matte base shade to calm a little bit this area. Huge difference. Now I'm taking anyway, and I will apply it in my outer corner on my upper and lower eyelid, but also here I'm going to find spot where my cut crease will be, so this brown shade should be visible after I do my cut crease. If you want to know more how to find this spot, I'm going to leave a video for you right here in the corner especially if you have hooded eyes, that will be very helpful for you. So, outer corner... and more of this red. 
this gorgeous shade of brown blends very well. Damn, this looks dark and dirty. Let's just do cut crease and we'll see. Close to the lash line and angry face. I'm taking shade Coral Amber and I will apply it almost all over this cut crease besides this inner corner. This gold is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Now I'm taking shade anyway. I'm trying to over this end of this cut crease. Now I'm taking mandarin. Let's make this inner corner blinding. Okay, something is here, but I need a little help. So I'm taking NYX Glitter Primer and I'll make this area really sticky. Now let's see. Oh yes, much better. Now that's blinding. And now I'm taking I Got You. And this on my low... Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, this doesn't need glitter glue. Wow! I will add beige pencil on my waterline. I will also add Eyeliner, if you need a hand with your eyeliner, I am leaving for you right here in the corner tutorial how to do your perfect wing, especially if you have hooded eyes. And of course, I'm going to add some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's time to again test this Nabla Glimmer Light palette. I'm going to use this shade. This is Reborn as my blush and we'll see if this shade, this is Super Moon, is going to be great highlighter because actually this is palette with highlighters but I use them as my blushes. I love this color. Now I will try to use this, the lightest one, as my highlighter. Let's try with the finger. Okay, nice. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Wow! <laughs> so I did it wrong in my last video. I tried to use it uh, with brush. They work great with finger. With finger they are like highlighter, like very blinding eyeshadow. And when you use brush it's more like uh, blush. These particles, like, they disappear with brush and with finger not. I'll try to add a little bit under my brow. I can't with this glow. Now it's only the lipstick, so... Hmm. Maybe let's go with pure Christmas? Yeah, let's go with Christmas. Red lips. And let's add some lip gloss, because I don't have enough. Now um, I am satisfied. <laughs> This is not my eyeliner's day, but that's alright, I guess. Final thoughts, I think, and also final thoughts to this one. So let's start maybe with this one. 
So, Nabla Glimmer Light Highlighter Palette. In previous video we tested this shade and it looks really pretty. It was great, great as a blush. This one, it's very pretty blush. And this one is really, really blinding highlighter. So my my conclusions are, if you need blushes, then apply these shades with brush. And if you need highlighter, you need to apply them with your finger. So for me, these two, I think I won't use them as typical highlighters, because for sure the, they will be just too dark for me. But still, for example, as eyeshadows, if I will have something like this on my lid, I need to use these two as my eyeshadows one day. Uh, no, no, I, I have to. I have to. And now the cutie palette, uh, coral one. This red is... <sighs> it's satin, so it's a little bit shining. That's really, really, really beautiful red. And also this one, this um, coral <laughs> one is very pretty. These two are <sighs> gold, like gold, good, nice, gold, nice shimmer, good. This is blinding shit. <laughs> As you saw on swatches, it, it messed with my focus a little bit. And this one is highly pigmented, highly, highly everything. <laughs> Nice palette. I think it's very nice uh, as everyday palette. Six eyeshadows, good for travel because it's small. So for now I think this is really nice palette. It has really nice shades. It's of course warm tone. So if you like warm tones and corals, nice, sweet and cute palette. So in the next video, another cutie palette but this time nude one so we'll see what we're going to do with these eyeshadows these are more neutral and even a little bit cool toned so it will be fun and for now that's all as always i love you very very much and i see you soon bye